Here's how you can make quick, easy enemy eyes with a perfect eye shine, just like this one right here. So how you do this? First, we need to set up the eyes correctly. What I do is I add a circle, go into edit mode, I extrude it, scale it, press M and merge it center. Then I grab this and I move it down a little bit. Rotate it around 90 degree. Then I add a solidify. We can also, for these eyes, I like them to be more oval. I'm going to do this, scale them down. And now it is very important to move the eyes in object mode. So move them to the position that you want them to be in and rotate them in object mode. Just like I do right here and position them in object mode. Now I'm just going to turn auto smooth on and smooth the eyes, a nice round effect to them. You can actually round them out in geometry if you want and need to. Now I'm going to use a mirror modifier and select the head so that it mirrors the eyes over. The head just has its origin right in the center here so the eyes get mirrored over. For the eye shine, I'm going to add another circle, do the same thing, extrude, scale, merge at center. But this time we don't move it down. It's important to leave the rotation this time as is because it's fine. I will also add a solidify, although this one can be smaller. I will scale this down, apply the scale. And what we can do now is turn on snapping. So shift tab is to turn on and control shift tab is to open up the menu. You can also just click on here and you can see project individual elements and align rotation to target. Turn that on. That allows us to just Snap it on here. As you can see, it rotates outwards. And here we have it. So just position it however you want. I'm going to apply the scale. And so now it has a little bit of thickness. You can smooth it. Uh, right click smooth and then turn auto smooth so that it looks very nice. Now we're going to add two vertex groups. I'm going to edit mode, creating new vertex groups. The first one we will name iShine.l. I'm just going to copy the name and here the second one is called iShine.r. I'm clicking on the first one iShine.l having all the vertices selected with eight and then hit assign with a weight of one. That will come in handy later. Now I'm adding two mirror modifiers. Let me first turn off the second one. So the first mirror modifier is going to mirror the iShine over onto the other side of the eye and then I'm going to Use a second mirror modifier with the head selected to remove them both of those eye shines over onto the other side. And now is where the real magic comes in. I'm going to add in a mask modifier, and in here I'm going to select eyeshine.l. Et voila, you have your perfect eye shine. You can just now duplicate this, move it somewhere else, scale it down however you want, and place them however you would like. Important is if you want to rig the eye shine to the eyes. Parenting doesn't work. You would have to actually apply the modifiers and then merge it into one model. Either have it like the eye as one model or add it to the body mesh or whatever you want. Because um, of the two mirror trick, the vertex groups will get a bit messed up if you're trying to rig it to an eye bone. So keep that in mind. What you can do is either just hover over the modifiers and press Ctrl A to apply them or just right click convert to mesh. That is the fastest this way it will apply the entire modifier stack and there you go now i'm going to explain how this trick works for anyone who's curious if you just wanted your perfect eyes and thank you already for watching you did a good job and i hope you will enjoy your enemy eyes so how this works now is quite interesting because we have two vertex groups here and we assigned the initial eye this one here we assigned it to l and the mirror modifier under data has by default toggled on mirroring vertex groups that means whatever mesh it mirrors over will also have a mirrored vertex group if there is one existent in this case there is because we created two so this side and now for the green one is basically first of all on the r group iShine.r on this one but now we do the same trick again we mirror those two over but we also mirror the vertex groups again so if i don't turn this on you can see it's still on the outside meaning if i don't turn this on then this would look like this so the outside one on each eye would be l and the inside one would be r but since we turn this on, they get flipped again, meaning that in this case, the outside one here is R and this one is L. So on both sides, we have the eye shine how we want it to be. But because of this double vertex group mirroring, when you do rigging, it will get messed up. So just convert it to mesh, delete the vertex groups. Uh, you don't need them really and then you're good. Maybe you will find another way to apply this trick to 
different part of your model. If you found another way to use this trick, please let me know. I hope you learned something new today. If you know someone else who would love this trick, please share the video. I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. That would help me a lot. We are close to reaching 100. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this little trick. See you next time. Bye bye.